there, I'm Regan Hillier and welcome to Your Success Tips, taking you from where you are now to where you want to be in your life and your business. Now, today I've got a question from Sam, and Sam wrote in and said, Hi Regan, I feel like I'm very successful in many areas of life, yet when I get really, really close to having what it is that I truly desire, I seem to somehow stuff it up. Any ideas? <laughs> So firstly, Sam, it sounds like you have a case of what I call self-sabotage. And I know there will be a lot of people watching this post going, oh yeah, I do that too. I like to say people have what I call an upper limit, okay? And this upper limit runs through many different areas of life. And whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in any different area, Often as humans, when we get really close to this upper limit of what we perceive to be realistic, what we perceive that we can achieve, our brain goes, uh-oh, what's on the other side of this limit? And it really is a huge fear of the unknown. Our brain goes, uh-oh, um, I'm not too sure how to deal with that. So, uh, I don't actually want that anymore. You know, all that money, all that time freedom, all that success, that happiness, that beautiful relationship and that family. Mm -mm. Nah, I'm way better off down here. <laughs> and those of you that do this regularly will know exactly what I'm talking about. So, you're probably saying, well, okay, I understand I've got an upper limit, but how do I stop that? Okay, so firstly, you need to actually be aware of where your limit is and what you start to do when you get close to having what it is that you want, when you get close to that upper limit. So, for example, some people sabotage, uh, let's say in health, they sabotage their eating when they're really close to actually getting the body they desire. In money, when some people are really close to being to that financial level, they go out and they find ways to spend their money. Everyone's different and you will have your own very little unique self-sabotage behavioral pattern. So I want you to take a good look and figure out what is it that I'm actually doing in behavior that shows up which I can then be aware of and start to change. The next thing you need to do, step number two, is you need to focus on your upper, upper limit. Okay, so if this is your upper limit, if this is what you're striving for, at which you become really close to achieving, before you self-sabotage, I want you to start planning for an upper, upper limit. Okay, so this is a step even further than where you're going. Okay, let's say your goal is to make $1 million and you're getting very close to that, but you start to self-sabotage. Stop, be aware of the behavior, and then focus. Okay, let's focus on $3 million, for example. Okay, because what this does is it starts to show your brain that there's actually more than this limit. It's reassuring your unconscious that, do you know what? It's okay when I get to this point because there's still a new goal. So guys, my challenge for you this week is to stay focused on where your limit is and start thinking about the behaviors that show up. And then secondly, figure out what your upper, upper limit is. And that's probably going to scare you a little bit. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable, unrealistic, but know that it's a really important part of the process to actually stopping the self-sabotaging behavior. Okay, so Sam, I really hope that has helped. Know that it's really normal and it shows up with so many people when they are really actively taking action to reach a new level of success. Now, as you guys know, all of the learning happens after this training. So, I would love to hear how you go with actually implementing this, and becoming aware of your upper limits, and then starting to shift and grow these limits so that we don't hit them in self-sabotage. So make sure you comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback with how you get on and some of your results and make sure that if you have a friend or someone you love that really needs to see this for where they're at in their life, make sure you share this with them so we can get this information out to them too. Thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to the next training. Bye.